Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, it became summer. We finally reached this wonderful season, and you did not get to hear the new music, because it was a festival yesterday. Which, you know, you still don't get to today either. Good morning, Kyle. It's the monster taming contest today. So then, I wonder who will win this year. I can't wait to find out if you're going to take part, the aim to win, okay? Yeah, of course. Well, I have some farming to do, so give me just a minute. Hmm. Farming level 65. Not bad. Alright. Uh, give me just a minute. Alright, so we're back. Morning. morning, Kyle. Hey, would you like to try to see who you like right now? Good morning. No, I think I'll pass for now. Today is the monster taming contest. Are you going to enter, Kyle? Of course I am. Good morning, Kyle. Morning, Mana. Today is the monster taming contest. Are you going to enter? Of course. Good morning, Kyle. See, nice seeing you again today. It's nice seeing you too. Today's the monster taming contest. Do you plan on entering, Kyle? Of course I do. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Um, listen, Kyle, I have to tell you I, uh... Oh, never mind. Today's the monster taming contest. Whether they're trained or not, it sounds dangerous to me. Yeah, even if you're used to working with monsters, you can't ever let your guard down. I don't think I'd ever be able to get along with monsters. I have a lot of respect for people who can train monsters. I really do. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. I don't know what it is, but I'm always happy when I get to see your face. The monster team concerts really test how far you've come as a monster trainer. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Ray. Today is the monster taming contest. I can't remember. Do you own any monsters, Kyle? Uh, yeah, a decent few. Not as much as Raguna, but mine love me, so... Yeah, got Raguna. <laughs> Good morning, Kyle! It's the monster taming contest today! To bring a monster under control with a sword, is there anything more pot wonderful? I think the key to this tournament is to get along well with your monsters, not rule them by fear. Oh, really? Morning. Good morning, Kyle! I get so lonely whenever I don't get to see you. Today's the monster taming contest. If you compete, I'll cheer for you. Huh, Max isn't there, which I guess means that he's up here trying to take part. Yep. Good morning, human. Today's the monster training contest. You look like you'd be able to get along with monsters that well. Good morning, Kyle. Well, Kyle, good luck today. Uh, we'll get to the actual competition later. What can I do for you today? You look like you're doing well. Oh, the monster taming contest. I worry about injuries every year. Messing around with monsters can be quite dangerous. Good morning, kid. How you doing? Good morning, Douglas. I'm fine, thank you. Today is the monster taming contest. You gonna take part, kid? Good morning, Kyle! Today's the monster taming contest! The trick of monsters is that you can't just use your raw strength to force them to your will! You wouldn't want to send them running all the way to the forest beginnings, would you? You need heart to capture monsters! It's important not to forget that! You understand, right? <laughs> Alright. Good morning, Kyle! Today's the monster training contest. How good are you with monsters, Kyle? Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Today's the monster training contest. I'd love to be friends with a cute little monster. You are a cute little monster. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Kyle. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. Today's the monster taming contest. It'd be nice if monsters and humans became good friends, wouldn't it? And is that everyone in town? Let's see. 
The mayor is here. Yeah, I think so. Give me just a minute. I knew I was forgetting someone. So normally Jake is over here, but he's not currently. So it's just these two. Uh, good morning, Kyle. I'm happy to see you again today. It's the monster taming contest today, isn't it? If you're going to take part, Kyle, then please do your best. Morning, Kyle. Today's the monster taming contest. Does that sound like any fun to you? Hell yeah. Alright. And now Mr. Muppet himself. Oh, Kyle, will you be participating in the monster taming contest? It's a chance to show off your monster mastery. And if you win, that special someone's opinion of you will no doubt go up. What's more, the winner will receive a fabulous prize. So how about it? Hey, Kyle, looks like you've plucked up the courage to compete. As the heir of the day saying Kokio Fortune, I'm going to give it a shot too, but this competition's a little bit out of the ordinary, shall we say. So Jake, hmm, looks like you're competing too. Oh, duh, even the fiercest monsters don't trip me up. I'm strong enough to take on anything out there. Catching monsters? Heh, <laughs> piece of cake. It's a waste of time for you to even bother competing. The top prize is as good as mine. So you think you're that good, hmm? You can't feel good about yourself unless you're bragged to everyone, can you? What a brat you are. I feel the same way, Jake. Well, regardless of how you behave, this is a competition. And a competition's about boast and besting each other. To the victor goes the spoils. Hmm, exactly. Well, Kyle, let's both try as hard as we can to defeat Jake. I'm in. Now that's what I'm talking about, Kyle! Okay, now for the rules. The monster taming contest is a competition that tests how quickly you can befriend a, spe befriend a specific monster. For this year's contest, you'll be heading to Trias for a spring clearing. Tame a monster there and then please head and come back here. Okay. The person who befriends a monster the quickest time will be the winner. Do you need to hear the rules? Mm, no, I'm good. Okay, monster taming contest, start! And now we abuse this. So during this competition, you'll notice that I'm not moving the clock all the time. It will stay in the top right corner. That's half for you in the audience and half uh, just for the sake of uh, the future game. Apini. Normally there's more letters, but this game only has that many, so. Let's see, it took me four minutes to tame a monster. I'd better hurry and get back to Herman. F four minutes. Oh, you've tamed the monster faster than I could have ever imagined! This is definitely a first in human history! Getting there in four minutes alone is impossible! First place goes to Kyle! Congratulations! I hereby confer upon you the title of Monster Master! For your prize, I present you with the Formula B! You got the Formula B. The results of the competition are Grand Prize Kyle, Hunter dimensional Jake, Constellation Prize Max. Shoot, where did I go wrong? <laughs> Honorable mention. Now, now, you did your best you could. Kyle just did a little better than you this time around. After all, this competition happens every year. In the meantime, let's work hard at getting better. Don't be an idiot. I'm the best. I'm the best. Good morning, Kyle. Congratulations, Kyle. That was quite an amazing win. I don't know how you could tame a monster so fast. Magic. Cheating, whatever you... Morning, there might be hope for you yet, human. You did alright, must be beginner's luck. Congratulations, the title of Monster Master is all yours. Heck yeah, I win. A very easy one. <laughs> Free affection for everyone. Morning. morning, kid, how you doing? Good morning, Douglas, I'm fine, thank you. Not bad, not bad at all, you're tougher than you look. Wow, oh, you did really well, Kyle. Morning. 
Good morning, Kyle! Congratulations, Kyle! Looks like you took my advice to heart! <laughs> Good morning, Kyle! That was incredible, Kyle! I gotta compete some... I gotta compete some year. Morning. Kyle, good morning. Oh wow, good for you, Kyle. A very simple one. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. Well, Kyle, congratulations. Good morning, good morning Kyle. Good morning, Ray. That was amazing, Kyle. Congratulations. Good morning, good morning Kyle. I don't know what it is, but I'm always happy when I get to see your face. Well done, Kyle, although I can't say I'm surprised. I hope you'll let me hear all of your adventures sometime. Look at us, being the stars of the show today. Good morning, Kyle. Uh, yeah, it's the normal thing. You did really well, Kyle. I had no idea you were so good with monsters. <laughs> I guess I got lucky. Time powers. You don't need to be so humble about it. A win is a win, and you won. Well, not only am I really good with monsters, but time powers. Good morning, Kyle. Nice seeing you again today. It's nice seeing you, too. You won. That's amazing. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Hey, would you like to try to see you? Yeah, okay. You've surprised me, Kyle. Well, Kyle, I guess maybe you have what it takes after all. Good morning, Kyle. Oh, congratulations on your victory. Morning, Kyle. You did well. Thank you. And... Unless I'm forgetting... Oh, right. Julia. I was about to say, unless I'm forgetting somebody, that's everyone. Julia is down here, all by herself. And, not just Julia, but Tanya. Good morning, Kyle. Oh, well, well done. It's pretty hard to get along with that well with monsters. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. You did it. I didn't have any idea you were so good with monsters. And that's everyone. Now that we've talked to everyone, that's the end of today. I will skip on to the next day. I will see you all tonight slash tomorrow morning. So give me a little bit to go and uh, just work on all the other stuff I have to do, including watering and whatnot. Bye-bye. All right. And now, because it's the holiday and I can't check what the weather is tomorrow, let's go to sleep out here. It's a beautiful morning. I think I might go outside for a while. Little piece of advice. Always do that. Like I said before, our main stuff's actually gonna be on the 9th. But I wanted to cover that. And also cover something else. So I'll meet you guys on my farm in just a second. And we're on our farm. I love this cheerful music. Welcome to the, to the summer sound. I'm gonna real quick take care of my farm here. There's not really much else we have to do here today, so I guess I'll just let you listen to this.
All right, and we're done here. There's not much else to show for today. I just really wanted you to hear the song and to know what I'm doing on days like that where I'm not sure what the next day's weather is going to be because uh, typhoons are rough. Eventually, I'll probably show a typhoon. It'll not be any time around now, but uh, typhoons can really mess you up and really ruin all your plans. So, yeah. I'm going to go and do some fishing and talk to the locals and whatnot. I shall see you all tomorrow. All right, and we're back. So, today's payday, and I will not be taking care of this immediately. I'll be taking care of this tonight, so I'm not wasting my entire day. But just know that that is a fantastic thing, and money, 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 money. It's raining money! For now, though, let's do our quests, like I said. I need a fisherman. I could really go for some salmon. Fish one out for me? I should have prepared this beforehand! I don't know that I have a salmon. I can check. Um, worst case scenario, we don't end up doing manage requests today. We'll see, though. I have two salmon. Cool. Um, I'm actually going to put my tomatoes in there. Hey there. Good morning, Kyle. Uh, listen, Kyle, I have to tell you, I, uh, oh, never mind. Kyle, do you have a minute? What is it, UA? Well, I don't know, but I'm really glad that I met you, Kyle. I just really enjoy talking to you, and you always buy different things. And I just think you're a nice guy. Really, I really like spending time with you. <laughs> thanks. I really enjoy your company, too, UA. Alright, speaking of buying things... Roasted yam. A slow roast yam. Prevalent in the fall. Often baked in the flames of a campfire. It's a bit overpriced, but that's fine. This is fine. Okay. First things first. Happy birthday! Thanks. Today's my birthday. I can't believe you got me roasted yam. Wow. Oh, you saw my pulse on the bulletin board? Great! I suddenly have this craving to eat salmon. Sure, I get that all the time. So I'd like you to catch one for me, Kyle. Hmm, a fishing challenge, huh? I've heard you can find salmon at Machina Valley past the mountain. Okay. I'll give you two new GS thanks. Do your best. Is that actually good price? Ah, uh, yeah, it's a little bit above market value. Okay, cool. Salmon. Oh, you caught me a salmon. Thanks, I've had such a craving for this. Here's two in return. Thanks, it must be nice to be able to fish anywhere. I can only fish where there aren't any monsters. Looks like they're no problem for you, though. <laughs> Correct. I can fish anywhere. Fish are the best when they're served as sashimi. Oh, you like sashimi, too. I love it. Let's just go down the list. Hello, Alicia. I just want to talk. Kyle, I've been waiting for you. I need you to go to Machina Valley Path and Mountain and find me a sapphire. I need it for my next fortune. I'll give you three energy if you bring it to me. Can you do that for me? Uh, yeah. I think that means that this is... Probably a fine diet? We'll see in a minute. No problem. Thanks, Kyle. That's why I like you so much. Um, sure. Sometimes I don't think you take me very seriously. Also, while we're here... What's the weather for tomorrow? Tomorrow will be sunny. Perfect. Even better if it was rainy, but, you know, can't always get what you want. But if you try real hard, you can get what you need. Sure enough, there's a sapphire right here. Perfect. Did you find a sapphire? If you find one, please give it to me. Yeah, sure. I suppose. Oh, this is it. This is just what I need to prove my fortune telling. Thanks, Kyle. No problem. Well, here. Here's 3 energy for my thanks. 
cow, you're really dependable. I predict that we will fall madly in love. <laughs> hey, I'm not kidding. Do you want me to read your fortune to see if I'm right? Uh, no thanks. Not this time. Yeah, I don't actually like using the, uh, love fortune thing. I feel like that's weird, especially considering she's a marriage candidate. Cecilia, I have something for you, but I have something I want to give you, but I'm a little worried that I'll mess it up. It's okay, Cecilia. We'll do it for you. I do it for her. That is to say, I'll do it for him. Hey, Kyle, do you think maybe you could come to the Daisen Kokyo dining hall later on? Sure, but what for? I'll tell you when I see you there, okay? Okay, Daisen Kokyo dining hall it is. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> yep, <laughs> later on means immediately. Thanks for coming, Kyle. No problem. So, what did you want to see me about? Um, I was wondering if you'd like apple pie? <clears throat> okay. This is going to have three different results. So, give me just a second. So, we're, we're going to start being terrible, okay? Not really. Actually, I'm not a big fan. Oh, I see. So, what did you need me for? Um, I'm sorry, it's, it's nothing. I can take care of it myself. Oh, okay. Sorry for calling you over here like this. We get nothing! Good day, sir! I like you, Cecilia. Um, wow, well, this is exactly the answer I was expecting to hear. But that doesn't mean I'm not happy to hear it. Hey, don't you hate these awkward moments? Well, thanks, Kyle. I was actually kind of joking around, but I can't really tell her that now, can I? Awkward and flirtatious to somebody who is not very flirtatious and just a little sweetheart. Eh, it's still not the correct result, though. Yeah, I love it. Really? That's great. I was worried that maybe you didn't like it, and then I, then what I'd do if you didn't, because I baked this for you. Will you accept it? Hey, an apple pie. It looks delicious. I hope you like it. Well, thank you very much. I'm sure I will. I think you will too. I'm sure I'll be sure to bake you another sometime. Thanks. I look forward to it. And. uh... Apple pie. <laughs> a bounty of apples baked in a pie crust. A classic comforting dessert worth 1500 G. Yes, you could try to be flirtatious with her if you want, but that's not how I play my Kyle. Kyle's stupid and dumb. And like me, he likes apple pie. I'd like to make something else for you sometime, Kyle. I think it'd be fun to bake for you every day. <laughs> A customer stopped by the other day and dropped something. Could you find it for me, please? I saw your message on the board, again. Ah, uh, Kyle. Sorry for always being such a bother. One of the customers dropped his emerald ring the other day. It's really important to him, and he looked really nervous without it. He never did find it, so I was hoping that maybe you could look for it for me. The customer already went back home to the city, but when I remember how upset he looked, well, it's starting to bother me too. If you find it, I was thinking I'd like to send it back to him. I see. No problem. I'll go look for it. Thank you so much. I asked him where he might have lost it. He th said he dropped it on his trip through Machina Valley. Machina Valley? It's kind of a dangerous place, isn't it? Well, well, I'll go take a look around Machina Valley. I'm sorry to make you do this, but thank you so much. Alright. I need to look at one thing real quick. Yeah, this is a way to get Alicia's birthday gift without having to buy it. So if you want to save money, you can do that. I will not, but it's still nice. Oh, that wasn't nearly as far as I thought. Okay. Please look for a numbered ring. One of my customers dropped it just the other day. He said he lost it in Machina Valley. Please look out for yourself, too. Speaking of the emerald ring... A emerald ring. A ring with a brilliantly glittering emerald that will make your fingers sparkle. If I were to equip it... I would gain two attack, lose four defense, and four magic defense. This is just a downgrade in every way. 
but yeah. It's nice, I guess. You found it, you amazing Kyle. Okay, I'll pass it along to my customer. I'm sure he'll be really happy. It's really good that you found it. Thank you so much, Kyle. Here's a little something to show my appreciation. Please, I want you to have it. 700G. Not bad. It was no problem. I'll make sure to mention you when I send the ring, Kyle. Hey, thanks. Okay, well, I'm going to get going. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. I was born on the 21st of autumn. Autumn is when all of life's little delicacies taste their best. Alright. Rosalind, please get some rare ingredients. I would really appreciate if somebody could find these rare ingredients for me. See for me for details. I'm not sure if I have or have the ability to get whatever this is, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. I'm not 100% positive. It's nice to see you too. Are you happy with this town, Kyle? I think it'd be better if it were a little easier to live with monsters here. I mean, yeah, maybe if I, every time I walked by a door, I wasn't screamed at. Oh. You're looking very cheery today, Kyle. You saw my message, right? Do you know anything about the gold cabbage? It's very rare. If you have one, might you please consider giving it to me? Even if you don't have one right now, perhaps you might be able to get one somewhere. I prefer 20,000 G for you as a token of my appreciation. Got it. If it'll help you out, I'll see if I can find some way to get one for you. Give me a minute. I didn't realize we were already to this point, but sure enough, we cannot do Rosalind's request currently. Just due to the time of things. Um, yeah, Kyle, I'm feeling the same way, scratching my head. Uh, we might be able to do this tonight, maybe. So we'll try it again then. If we can't do it now, then we'll have to do it another time. But I'll show you this request later. <laughs> Julia, I want to apologize to somebody for something. Can you help me out? Heck yeah. Let's do this. Okay, she could be at the church right now. So I guess I'll go check there. I have no idea where she is. I'm gonna search the thing. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Go away. I don't have any use for you right now. Come on, Barrett. Be warm to me. I guess we're not doing this one until 3 p.m. Because I can't find her. <laughs> she has wandered around. She's not anywhere where I can think of that she would visit. So she must be in transit somewhere and I'm just missing it. Yue, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for a while now. Come meet me? This is Yue's final request. So this is serious business. You know what? We're not going to do UA's request right now. I should save it for a little while later because otherwise I'm just going to sit there with her item that she wants to give me and it'll be an entire thing. I'll wait on this. Dorothy, Fern has been acting kind of funny lately. Can you come over and help me? Please, for me? Heck yeah. Dorothy! I'm on my way. Uh, wow. She's not actually in here yet. Hello, Kyle. I've got a problem. Fern won't talk to me. This is the first time this has ever happened. Did I do something wrong? Dorothy makes Fern talk. I guess if Fern really isn't talking, then Dorothy must be outgrowing Fern. I think, Dorothy, that's... It's because you've become close to your other friends. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. Fern has been a very close friend of yours, hasn't she, Dorothy? And she's been the only one you've opened your heart to until now, hasn't she? That's why she's always answered you. But now you've found someone other than Fern that you can open up to. So Fern's just happy that her role in your life is finished. She may have stopped talking to you, but I'm sure she'll always be by your side watching over you. You're right. Yeah. Fern, thank you for everything. I'll take care about you forever. Just do your best so Fern won't have to worry about you anymore. I will. And uh, you've given me a lot of confidence, Kyle. Thank you. 
No problem, Dorothy. Dorothy's really changing. She's becoming more outgoing than before. Now she can even talk without using fur, and that's some real progress. I don't think I need to worry about her anymore. Thank you, Kyle. You've given me strength. What? <laughs> That's for me. I really, really like Char. Despite me not being outside anymore. Ah, <laughs> uh, comedy. I thought I missed. It a miss. I guess I never miss, huh? <laughs> And that's it for now. We're not going to take care of UA's request for now. I figure I should save for final one for later on. It's not like we're unlocking new stuff from it. Julia and Rosalind. I'll wait a little bit for Julia. I guess. Hmm. Farming. I'll take care of some of my farming in the meantime. Pull this out so I don't actually chop down some crops. Okay. Apple pie. A bounty of apples baked in a pie crust. A classic comforting dessert for 1510. And Formula B. Fertilizer. Speeds the growth across by two days. You'll see the difference after one day after use. For seven energy. We're gonna sell both these items. We don't need them right now, and honestly, they're taking up inventory space. So. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Alright, farming time. Ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba We're gonna have a lot of money after this. Eggplant. This purple vegetable actually has nothing to do with eggs. Its curved stalk is strangely appealing. So, they're actually worth almost 2,000 apiece, I believe? Or a stack? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So I sent you just got another, like, 11,000 or something? Hi there, Kyle. <laughs> hey there, Mana. Hey, do you know about the Forest of Beginnings? Um... Nope, never heard of it. There are monsters around here, right? Well, the Forest of Beginnings is where they're said to have originally lived. That's all I know about it, though. I feel great today, just like every day. Uh, yeah, I actually do know about it. Have you ever met anybody who's actually been there? It sounds like a monster's paradise, but a scary place for a human to be. What did you have for lunch? I had an omelette, orange juice, and- Hey, I'm being serious here! Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kyle. Some have called me the demon of devouring. Well, there isn't a single food that I dislike. Actually, that's a huge lie. I couldn't force myself to eat cornflakes. Ever th even thinking about it gives me the chills. Hey, Julia. Hi. Hi, afternoon. I guess I'm lonely when I don't get to see you. Is there anything you don't like about this village? Let's see, I can't really think of anything. I sometimes wish there were more people living here. Then my bathhouse would make more money. I mean, that's fair. Thanks. That smells great. Is it for me? Thank you, Kyle. Julie, I saw the bulletin board. It looks like you need my help with something. I do, I do, okay, so it's like this. Earlier, I was still while I was still preparing the bats, Douglas came in and totally drenched in sweat. I told him that you couldn't come in yet, that I was still getting ready, but he said that he couldn't afford to wait and, well, he just jumped in. But that at that point, I still hadn't adjusted the water temperature, so it was really, really hot. And, well, Douglas kind of got burnt a little, so I want to apologize to him, but I'm kind of scared. So I was hoping maybe you could stop by Douglas's and ask him what his thoughts are on the whole thing for me? I see, but I kind of feel like the whole mess isn't really your fault, Julia. Wasn't it pretty foolish for Douglas to just ignore you and jump into the bath? Hmm, you're probably right, but still, I don't want people around here thinking badly of me. So I still think it's better to apologize to him. You can help me with that, right? No problem. I'll talk to Douglas and then come back here. <laughs> 
Thanks, Kyle. I'll be waiting for you. All right. Douglas! I hear you're an idiot! Um, how can I interest you today, eh? Nice try, Douglas, but that's not why I'm here. <laughs> I guess I should... I should have guessed you'd say that. So why are you here? Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. Julia told me you got in the bath before it was ready and burned yourself. Why'd you do that? Oh, that. Well, I just working got all sweaty and I just need to cool off pronto. There was already water in the tub, so I just jumped in. It wasn't her fault and the water was too dang hot. I got in before I should have. Sure, I got burned a little, but I've got no one to blame but myself. Can't argue there. Julia seems concerned about it. Are you okay now? Burns are part of being a man. You call that pain? I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known you'd say that, Douglas. Nothing gets to you. A few burns every now and then will toughen you up. They're good for you. Not in this game, but, you know, the next game, the game after the- yeah, those ones. Those ones are your guilt resistances. I beg to differ. Well, I guess I'll be going now, Douglas. Thanks for everything. You better- you better be ready to buy something next time. Howdy, kiddo. Hello, Douglas. I'm fine, thank you. Say, you got any of your memory back, Hal? I wonder what you want to begin with, huh? Who knows? Kyle, what did he say? He's mad, isn't he? Not at all. In fact, he said that it was his fault and he apologized. See, there was nothing for you to worry about. Really? Wow, thanks. He said there was definitely no need for you to apologize. It was always a mistake. So it looks like your bathhouse reputation is safe. Sure, but still, what if I had gotten mad at him or something? What would people think about me? They'd stop liking me or something, wouldn't they? I don't think that would happen. I think it's okay for you to get mad sometimes, Julia. Though, to be fair, you always seem kind of bad at me. Well, Kyle, you're kind of a special case. You kind of get me, and, uh... Well, never mind, it's nothing. I don't want to be disliked by anyone. But even I just want to be direct sometimes. And that has something to do with you only getting mad at me? I'm really happy that you can talk to me, honestly, but it's a little scary when you get really mad at me. That was... in wrong voice, whatever. Don't worry about it. I really like that I can show you my feelings and you don't hate me or get frightened away. Think of it as an honor. Well, it is nice you're willing to be open about your feelings with me. And I know you don't like to feel vulnerable, so I'm glad that you're willing to be vulnerable with me. Hey, vulnerable? I'm not vulnerable! How could you say something like that? But, thanks. That's kind of encouraging to hear. <laughs> really, it's nothing. <laughs> What you said has kind of encouraged me. Thanks, Kyle. And that was her request. We find out more about her. And honestly, she's dumb. <laughs> Not in an insulting way. I get it. She's insecure, and she just doesn't want to be hated. I completely get those feelings. All the same, she has to be willing to be able to talk to people. All she's doing is hurting herself right now. So, uh, I'll take this and I'll accept the request from her again, and tonight we'll see if we can do it or not. The problem is the further I go throughout the year, I'm gonna have less and less space. I'm gonna keep farming and getting all the different items I need, but with no way to upgrade my storage space, it's gonna leave my backpack fairly full. It'll be worth it for later in the game, but right now this is gonna be rough. I guess I'll just use this opportunity to get as much money as possible and call that good. Did she repay me? Yeah, she repaid me for the day. 93,490 G. We're sitting pretty right now. I just gotta keep on grinding, though. I need as much money as possible. There's some expensive things coming up. They won't be here for probably another 10 episodes, but... You know, that's only 10 episodes away, so might as well gr do all the grinding now. If I'm, you know, as high level as possible and have as much money and all these other things, then I won't have to worry. Oh, and I just realized something. After I'm done harvesting these, I'm actually going to head over and 
show something that I didn't know about, to be honest. I know it's weird for me just to be kind of cutting into me doing this rather than speeding up or whatever, but it's not really necessary to show it. And I was playing around yesterday, like in my life yesterday, when I was about to start recording the other episode. Or not the other episode, but the other part of this episode, rather. And I was just kind of messing around in my house. I noticed something and I found something that I don't think I knew about. I don't think so, at least. So we'll deal with that in a minute. Actually, let's see. Um, eggplants at 35,910 currently. Yeah, okay, so it does update every time. So we'll be able to see how much we've earned once I've thrown all this stuff in, even if we haven't been paid for it yet. All right. All in all, we've earned 44,460 from a single harvest. So by the end of the season, we'll have over 130,000 from eggplants. Not bad. Okay. Now if we just head right up the staircase right here. Right here. Oh, a magnifying glass. This might come in handy. You got a magnifying glass. I didn't know this existed. <laughs> magnifying glass allows you to examine the fertilizer used on your fields. So, I obviously don't have attack up or anything from it. But... I come out to my field. Hmm? Doesn't seem like any fertilizer was used, and I think that's all it's saying right now. Okay. It just lets me check what fertilizer has been used, so I know. And I can, you know, not make mistakes. It's neat. I didn't know it existed. And it's not required, <laughs> but it's neat. It is also going to take up an inventory slot now, so, you know. Was it worth it? I don't know, man. Get on the Hydra's back! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! HURRY UP! I have enough friendship so I can actually come into the house here. After hours, and since it's after 9pm, uh, this room maybe? No. It's apparently his room, weird. This room. Hello, Max. Kyle, you're searching for a gold cabbage for my sister? Yes, I am, but Max, you wouldn't know where I could find a gold cabbage, would you? Indeed, I do. I have a gold cabbage right here with me. You do? What do you want for it? Don't worry about it. I'll give it to you for free. Wow, thank you very much. Gold cabbage. You're a great help, Max, but I don't know. I feel bad getting this rare ingredient for you for nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. It's a small investment compared to the returns I'm expecting in the future. Oh? <laughs> Never mind. I'm just talking to myself. Don't mind me. All right, now you got it. All right. The gold cabbage. Gold cabbage, a rare gold vegetable. With this new color, its taste has improved a hundredfold. I will check to be sure this isn't anyone's loved gift. No. Gold cabbage is not a loved gift for anyone, so that's fine. <laughs> This is not an abusable thing, and it wouldn't be a very convenient one anyway, because you have to do it the night before. Because he has to be in his room to give that to you. So, getting your hands on a gold cabbage will probably be very difficult, but you'll be doing me a huge favor. But still, you could call this a nearly impossible task. Maybe just maybe my brother might have some information on the gold cabbage? It might be a good idea for you to try talking to him when he's in his room. Gold cabbage. That's incredible, Kyle. I can't believe you found one, and so quickly, too. You're really amazing. <laughs> you're embarrassing me. You're cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I've left both of us speechless. Uh, um, well, then, back to the matter at hand. Good job, Kyle. Please take your reward of 20,000 G. Thanks, I'd better get going. Oh, well, Kyle, don't leave yet. Wait just a second. What? All right. I wonder what she wants. Rosalind, that's all done. What is... This is uh, my new recipe. It's the Impossible to Resist Golden Cabbage Salad. I made it with the golden cabbage that you brought me. It's my gr crowning achievement. Truly the product of our teamwork. Go ahead, try it. It looks delicious. I can't wait to taste it. 
Munch, munch. Munch, munch. Ooh. Yeah, it's absolutely delicious. It's, it's, it's the best salad ever. I don't think anyone's ever tasted a better salad. I could eat it every day and not grow tired of it. In fact, I really do wish I could eat it every day. <laughs> you really liked it that much? Oh, Kyle. This gives me an idea. I can use the leftover cabbage to make coleslaw. Desenko Kiel's coleslaw. Uh, that's not an item, right? No. <laughs> that's definitely not an item. You really liked my golden cabbage salad that much? I'm so glad. And her achievement is done. We got to try some good food. And got 20... 1000 G. Like, look at that. 113,490. This is amazing. I love it here. <laughs> All my friends love it here. We also have the yams to sell, which are, you know, nothing in comparison, but yeah. I'm going to take care of the rest of the farming I have to do for today, but otherwise, we're actually done here. Guys, I'll see you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye. Goodbye.